This simple AI automation now manages all my leads. It's like having an intern that knows what to do so I don't have to waste my time doing the boring repetitive work. Basically, every time I get a new lead via email, it automatically extracts all the important information, added to my CRM so I don't have to do it manually. This is just a starting point. There are so many more possibilities. Like if the lead is above a certain budget, automatically notify me or my team in Slack so I can act on it right away. So here's a tutorial so you can build it yourself without any coding in like five minutes. We're going to use Zapier as a platform to build this AI automation without any coding. And when you build your new app our first step is going to be adding a trigger in this case our trigger is going to be every time we have a new email come in so we can trigger our automation so here i'm using gmail as an example but this could be outlook this could be pretty much any other email provider that you use or your company uses and then my event is going to be a new thread because i don't want information on like you know any new email just a new thread so if there's any repeat conversations or follow-ups i don't want that to trigger the automation and under configure i'm just going to select all inboxes but maybe there's certain inboxes you already have set up where all the leads come in so it's going to help you sort of like filter that right away or if you don't have any filter the second step here is going to be adding filter where I don't want this automation to trigger on every email because I get all bunch of all kinds of emails, not just the leads. So here I'm using certain keywords, which I think the person might use in their email subject line when they're sending an email as a lead. So here I just have like, you know, a bunch of or conditions and a bunch of different keywords that I think are going to be relevant for this particular automation. And our third step is going to be simply connecting AI. In our setup, we're going to use ChatGPT as the application and the event would be extract structured data because with ChatGPT, we got to tell AI what to do. So so we got to extract the data from the email so we can add that to our CRM. We want to make sure that AI knows exactly what to get out of the email, what to read, what to make sense of. So here under unstructured text, we just kind of use our subject line from the email and then the message body from the email so we can analyze using AI what information is coming in. And under description, we're going to keep a simple prompt. We're just going to tell AI what kind of role to play and what the task is. So we're just going to say you're an email parser. I will provide you with an email about you know kind of you kind of like the business you're in and then and the goal would be to extract the types of information that you want on your lead that you want to add it to your CRM. Think of like, you know, whatever lead information your team or your company does need on your CRM, like Salesforce or Airtable or whatever you use. Don't stress too much about the prompt. Just keep it simple. We can even use chat GPT or like prompt genie to like build a prompt if you really need to. But the key part here is to figure out what values you want to extract. So when your lead come in, like just think about what information that they might have in the email that you want to add to your CRM or whatever is necessary for you to start prioritizing which leads you want to act on and whatnot. So here, our values are going to be like, you know, the budget, the email, who is the person of contact, the company name, the product information and what they want. So that way, like, you know, we have more relevant information that we can add to our CRM. And again, this doesn't need to be a new thread. Maybe these are all the emails that you sent to a potential prospect and they're replying back with some information. So like, again, it could happen at that stage as well, this automation. In that case, you'll just have to like change the first step and instead of a new thread, do all the emails and just filter by certain key keywords or whatnot. So once we extract this information, our goal is now to update our CRM. So for this example, I'm just using Airtable because that's what I use, but this could pipe drive, Salesforce, like whatever you, you or your company uses as your CRM, we're just gonna connect that as our application and our event is gonna be to create a new record or update a new record if that's what your workflow needs. Connect your account and then under configure, we just kind of like sort of map one-to-one -one which fields we wanna update in our CRM based on the value is extracting from chat GPT. For example, you know, emailer's name, we're just going to put a person of contact. So, so on and so forth. You can just sort of like map that one-to-one -one based on the data you're extracting from the email and the CRM variables you want to add automatically. And that's pretty much the automation. It's that simple. And now every time we get a new email with those keywords in the subject line, all the email text is going to send to AI and it's going to extract the relevant information and then it's going to be added to our CRM. Boom, done. This is a very simple automation. You can continue working on this and build sophisticated workflows. For example, here the next step could be like okay we're gonna assess how big the budget is for the lead and if the lead is above like certain budget maybe you want to notify somebody else maybe you want to bring somebody into the loop into the conversation maybe you want to send a slack message to the team so yeah like possibilities are endless and it's really easy to build it doesn't require any coding we're gonna keep the tutorial simple here but do let us know in the comments if there's something more you want to see here and we'll definitely we'll build a workflow up for you and then do a tutorial so you can do it yourself i hope you feel inspired i hope you can start thinking of how you can start using tools like zapier to automate your work with AI so you don't have to spend the time doing the manual work and focus on the things you actually find valuable and you enjoy more. Thanks for watching. For more AI tools and workflows, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next videos.